the word, the word, the word kingdom in the New Testament is the word basilia. It means the same thing. It means kingdom, dominion, kingdom. So when you see the word dominion, think of kingdom. Now what is a kingdom? A kingdom is not a religion. A kingdom means to govern, to rule, to control, to manage, to lead, and to administrate and give order back to a territory. That's why he created you. Look at that verse. Write them down, please. The word kingdom means to govern, to rule, to control, to lead, to manage, to take authority over, and to take order, to become the one in charge. You were made to be the leader, not the follower. The ruler, not the ruled. The dominator, not the dominated. That's why you want to be in of everything. That's why you hate to owe people money. Because the borrower is a slave to the lender. You're not designed to be a slave. Tell your neighbor, this is it right here. This is the last day of domination. I'm going to dominate from this day forward. Say it loud. I'm a kingdom citizen. I take my position. I'm beginning to dominate. Look how Jesus said in Matthew 25 verse 34. He says, then the king will say to those on his right, come, you are blessed by my father. Take your inheritance, not a car or a house or money in the bank or all claiming all this stuff. He said, but your inheritance is what? The kingdom. Which will prepare for you how long? Read it. Give God a hand for the kingdom. The kingdom is a whole why do you only want a car? <laughs> oh God, I need a house. God said, what are you talking about? I'm giving you a country. <laughs> Take a deep breath. That's right. Every time you breathe, religion leaves you. You've got to keep doing that. Real quick. Adam was given, therefore, a kingdom, not a religion. Adam was given rulership, not rituals. Adam was given stewardship, not ownership over earth. Adam was given dominion over earth, not over other men. Adam was given a government, not a religious system. Adam was given royal sovereignty over earth. Adam was given the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's what you received in Adam. There's no religion in that list. You cannot lose what you were never given. Say it. So, you didn't lose a religion. And that's why religion can never satisfy you. And that's why the few honest people in here know what I'm saying is true. You can see you get to go home at 2 a.m. in the morning, lay on your bed, looking up at the ceiling in that dark room just before you go to bed. After singing and dancing and clapping and giving your offerings and all that stuff you go through, listen to the sermon, you lay on your back and you look at the ceiling at 2 a.m. in the morning and you think that last thought, is this all? And you know that's true. That includes you pastors. You preach your sermon. People were happy. Gave their offering. And you go back home as a pastor. Lay on your bed and say, there's got to be more than this. I can't do this for the next 30 years. Well, the good news is here. The kingdom of God has arrived. You didn't lose a religion, therefore you don't need a religion. And that goes for everybody watching this program. Whether it is your religion, the one you bought, the one you joined, the one you came with, it will never satisfy you. Christ says you are spiritually poor. Then to you belongs the kingdom of heaven. But that's what you lost. So let me close on what a kingdom is. What is a kingdom? A kingdom, write this down, is the sovereign rulership and governing influence of a king 
over his territory, impacting it with his will, his intent, and his purposes, producing a community of citizens who reflect and express the culture, the lifestyle, and the nature of the king. That's a kingdom. I repeat, a kingdom is the governing influence of a king over his territory, he owns it. Impacting it with his will, his purpose, his intent, producing a community of citizens in that territory who reflect the king's culture, his nature, his standards, his values, his lifestyle. That's a kingdom. A kingdom is not a religion. It's a country ruled by a king. It's a nation ruled by a king. Heaven is a nation, invisible. You can't see it, but it's the original country. And the king is Jehovah, Adonai, Elohim. And he rules, and he decided to colonize his own territory called Earth. So he placed his kids on the planet. And he said, have dominion, dominate that, and fill that with the same stuff that heaven has. Put heaven lifestyle on earth. That's the plan. Not religion. A kingdom, therefore, consists of a king's sovereignty and power and authority and rulership and government. In other words, a kingdom, it, it, it actually is filled with this kind of concept. It is a a government, a territory, a country, a nation, it's a people, it's a, it's a rulership of a king. A kingdom is an actual country. It has a culture. You, we've missed it. There was no singing in the garden, no choir in the garden, no prayer meetings in the garden. There was no Bible studies in the garden. Read your Bible. There was no prophet and evangelist and pastor and teacher and, and bishop and elder in the garden. There was none of that. No prayer meetings, no worship services. And God says, this is good. I know you're in shock. Take a deep breath. You got to go back and read the Bible. Redemption is a product of sin. It's not God's original idea. If man had never fallen, there'd be no need for this meeting. <laughs> you wouldn't need a teacher to teach you. The teacher would be on the inside. You would know as you are known. That's why the Bible says God would get rid of prophets and prophets and, and evangelists. and He can get rid of that stuff. He said, the day will come when they shall cease. We've missed it. It's not about religion. It's about a country called heaven. <laughs> a kingdom consists of a king, a territory, constitution, citizens, privileges, laws, an economy code of ethics and a royal favor when I come back I'll finish this teaching until then get the books and read